I'm Doug, and on behalf of everyone at Eminence, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the fourth video in a series on Eminence IRs. This time, we're going to be pairing them with the Fractal Audio Axe FX3 across a range of styles and tones. Like you saw there at the top in the lower right-hand corner, you will see the name of whatever IR that I'm using. In that particular case, I first demo was utilizing the CV75. With that said, let's get to the next demo. The majority of the Amundus IRs were captured by Michael Britt, but there's also a Christian Cole metal IR pack, which per the demo you just heard, is great for way more than just metal. <laughs> My favorite things about Christian's IRs, besides the fact that they sound great and are incredibly versatile, is the workflow because of the way he's named the files. So we were just listening to the DV77 Angry. We know that it's his IR of the DV77, the Mick Thompson signature speaker, but Angry allows us to know it's going to work well with an aggressive tone. So rather than scrolling through a giant list of IRs going next, 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 if you see DV77 Angry and you've got a more aggressive tone, you can immediately go, let me try that and see how it works. That makes for a great workflow. Heading back to the IRs that Michael Britt shot, that was the Texas Heat, which is an incredibly versatile speaker on its own. And the thing about the workflow with Michael's IRs is that you kind of have this larger list but you can choose which microphone or microphones you're going to use. In my particular case, I always opt for the combination of the Shure SM57 and the Royer 101 because it sounds most like the character of the speaker in the room. And when you've got a sound that has that many layers to it, you got to have a great sounding IR. <laughs> Another one of my favorite things about the workflow with Christian's IRs is he gives you a couple of different takes on the same speaker, in this particular case, the DV77. If DV77 angry doesn't do it, then try DV77 presence boost. <laughs> My ES-335 is one of the more sensitive instruments I have in terms of making sure it's matched with the right speaker, or in this case, the right IR. And the DV-77 Linear does a great job of making sure the top end doesn't get pokey and still keeps the definition in the bottom end. <laughs> One of the most exciting things about finding the right IR is it means that it kind of opens the door to creativity. Deep Swamp is based on the Swamp thing, and what that did is it really kind of captured the bottom end of this guitar and made it sound almost like a keyboard. I spent a lot of time playing and writing with that sound, and I absolutely love it. All right, on behalf of everyone at Eminence, I want to thank you for checking out this video. If by chance you have not subscribed to the channel, I want to invite you to do so. Don't forget to ring the bell so we can let you know when more videos in this series are going to go online. With that said, thanks again for watching. Cheers.